welcome. Happy you are here today. On this vlog, pretty exciting, going to be sharing with you some insights, some things I've received about a book I'm reading called The Autobiography of a, of a Yogi by Yogananda. Okay, you probably heard of him and I hope you stick around because what I'm going to share, I think you'll relate to, I think you'll re resonate with, and hopefully you learn some things on this path to oneness. Let's get right to it. Okay. So my name is Gavin. This is the One Minute Vlog. And it, again, it still feels weird to say this. I teach oneness and I teach, you know, the process of awakening and spoiler alert. I do not consider myself awakened. I don't consider myself enlightened. So, well, that doesn't make any sense. How can you teach that, Gavin, if if you haven't done that? <laughs> like, hey, hey, I understand asking myself the same question. I am following guidance, right? And I'll get into more of that. If you watch my other videos, please go back. And the whole idea is to watch it chronologically, okay? because this is a path, this is a journey, and another spoiler alert, we all are already awake. I am you, you are me, we are one. Yet, you know, we receive each other as like, I'm looking into a camera and you're watching this on some kind of device, a TV, your phone, an iPad, whatever it is, and there's this feeling of separation, which is absolutely not true. Now, conceptually, I know that you, if you're watching this video, probably know that yet we still have this experience that seems absolutely real that you're over there. I'm over here. We're in different locations and all the things of this world seem to be very real that we believe in right now. I am what I'm about to say, like I've said in the past, but I'm going next level here and I'm going to get into this book and it has to do with this book is that like what I'm receiving in guidance. And I feel like there's this dialogue with God, with with Jesus, with like the Holy Spirit that's happening, however you want to look at it. And you might look at it in some different way that what I'm starting to understand is there's so many different um, ways to, whether, you know, to teach and to, to me, teaching means, you know, to really, you know, learn, like teaching is learning. You teach what you want to learn. And I feel like that's a spiritual principle. And, you know, they say there's many paths to God. Yet what happens is, and it's my understanding so far, is that uh, a lot of times, you know, it's always hindsight, like I'm enlightened. OK, this is what I did. Right. Or I'm awake or um, I'm experienced eternal bliss. Right. The words can get uh, touchy from like past experiences where people have attachments to it. And so they can have resistance. So come up with ever whatever word you want. Also, I have an extreme amount of resistance to this because I'm like, who am I like? What do you mean? You're you're telling me that I'm taking people on this journey with me. You're kind of insinuating I'm going to have this awakening and and um, that it's going to be great for everyone. And when I say great, meaning the experience will be uh, you know one with with both parties that we get to do this together, that I'm not, not on some pedestal or not better. You're going to see like I have the same struggles. I have the same, you know, issues, the same erroneous mind thoughts, the same ego thoughts, even like just even the idea of saying what I've said so far, it feels very egotistical to me. Like, who are you? Like my ego is like, who are you? Right. And that's the part that I'm starting to understand is part of the problem, right? Is that like the ego uses the ego <laughs> to its advantage to keep you stuck in the ego, okay? And what I mean by that is like, I'm a Course in Miracles student and it's like, you know, you start having this awareness and you start, you know, looking at how you think and how you see the world and what, you know, illusions are. And then, you know, you like, you start kind of evaluating how you show up in the world. And what I've noticed is like my ego 
kind of uses that against me of like, who are you? Like an imposter syndrome. Like, you know, you, you think you're like Jesus, but you are not. And like, you have no right, you know, to go on video. And I started the one minute like 14 years ago, a oneness movement. And I struggled with that so long. I've just started it up again within the last few months because I was like, well, I have to get to where, uh, you know, like I'm at that like higher self, however you want to look at it before you can teach it. And what I've received lately in meditations is like, no, no, no. Like, like, your version of like your purpose and your meaning is to bring people along with you because there is no other people that all these people um, that are perceived as separated right now are me, are one. We're doing, we're going through this together. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to say. Now back to the book. Um, it's really brought up a lot of stuff. I've, I kind of talked about this in a past video, but like I told my daughter once, like, I'm like, this is sounds crazy too. Like, I think I'm Jesus. Okay. Not the second coming, but like, I so resonate with what Jesus was about. Every time I read like a course of miracles, anytime I study anything, I'm like, yes, like, oh my gosh, I can feel that. And since I've been on this planet, since I was a little boy, I have known like that I was supposed to transcend this world. And what I would define transcend this world is that I can be in it without getting caught up in the struggle, in the pain, in the depression, in the ups, in the downs, and that I can see the truth. I can see the light. I can see who everybody is. I can see God everywhere, right? Now, I knew that at an early age, yet I'm not there yet right? I have those up and downs. I have the pain. Like I have these frustrations. And this is why I'm on camera, just to let you know, like, like, I know what it's like. And I struggle with it. I cry. I'm down. I think my wife at times thinks I'm crazy because like, I'll be good, good, good. And then I'll just like crash and be like, I don't belong here. Like, this isn't the place for me. Like, I don't understand this world. And I get frustrated. And I, you know, tell me if you can, like, if you can relate to this. I get frustrated because there's this deep knowing of like who I really am. There's this deep knowing of this possibility for all of us and who we really are. And so when I'm not experiencing that, when I'm not being that, when I'm not showing up as that, like it's excruciating. It just feels awful. Like I just want to crawl out of my body. Okay. Yet when I'm in that beingness, when I'm in Christ consciousness, when I'm, you know, remembering and having that awareness of like truth to the degree that's possible for me right now, okay, that it feels exquisite. It feels blissful. And that's all I want to feel. And then all of a sudden I'm going out in the world, boom, boom, taking these hits and like, oh my gosh. And, and it's like, okay, you know, and there's times I've gone days, months, back into that darkness without even realizing it. I go, you know, years I've gone of like back into materialism and into goals and into, you know, worldly goals, I should say, and into money. And if, you know, if I have some out there goal that I have this achievement, then I'll have this fulfillment, then I'll be complete, then I'll feel whole. And I know unequivocally, I'm saying this right now, that is BS for most and that is 100% BS for me. Like that's, I didn't come here for, for that. OK, and I think there's nothing wrong with goals and things of this world. Yet my focus, my dedication, my goal is God, is self-realization to understand truth and to spread that. OK, boom, that's what I'm here for. And when I'm reading this, um, you know, the, the autobiography of a yogi, it's like I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm so I don't know the word like envious of like Yogananda of, of like the guidance he had and, and the uh, help he had with his guru, okay? And I'm not even gonna, I always say Yogananda because I don't wanna like mispronounce all the other names and um, I'm not an expert on it and I, I don't want to dishonor them by butchering their name, not that they would care. Yet I really feel like, I'm, you know, as I'm reading this, it's almost like I'm having this experiential knowing 
through Yogananda of like the, I'm learning his lessons with him as he learned it. And like, you know, at some level, I'm hoping that like these videos in this process of whatever it turns out to be that I'm following guidance will be the same for you. And so in that book, you know, you can see this progression. You can see like Yogananda in his early age, like, like, like the rest of us, like he knows there's a something a little bit different. Like you do, you know, there's something a little different, you know, you have some extra abilities, maybe some like, you know, power, not in like a negative or positive way, but they're just, you know, there's some things that come easier to you. Um, I could go through a long list of possibilities yet he still was an ego yet. He'd still get angry yet. He'd still have resistance. He still disobeyed his guru. And like, he also went through this process because we all come to this, maybe not all, there might be a few people, but I even think Jesus was the same way that we come into this world forgetting. We come in this world with a veil of, of, of um, forgetting who we really are and that we have the opportunity and it's like almost this challenge. It's like this divine right that like, it's this blissful experience we get to go through, hopefully to like wake up to our truth and step into that power and to be that oneness with God, which we are and have that experience again in physical form. Okay. So watching, reading, understanding, feeling Yogananda's trials and tribulations, it's so reassuring. Uh, it's so, you know, like fun. I feel like it builds confidence. I feel like it's something that um, I can completely relate to, and I recommend reading the book with you. But what I want to say that was this huge realization in that enviousness, almost of like, oh, I want a guru, I want this person. Like in my meditation this morning, that's why I'm doing this video. I've got to go here soon, but it was like, record this, share this. Here I am. Is my meditation this morning, boom, like this voice loud and clear is like, Gavin, I know you think that you're not ready. I know you think that like you might be ridiculed or you might have fear around that. And it was like, that's going to happen regardless that people are going to like root against you, root for you. None of that <laughs> matters because it's all you like with the expression of that. And that like um, e essentially, um, how would I say this, that I really wanted a guru and, and what they basically that said to me in the meditation was life is your teacher and like your guru is Jesus. Okay. And I was like, oh, yes, like, okay, that makes sense. Like, thank you. Like, because no wonder I'm so attracted to A Course in Miracles. No wonder, like I've read like every book I can find on Jesus. No wonder like that is like, I've never really resonated with the Bible, haven't read the Bible, it hasn't been my thing. There's a lot of things in there that don't resonate with me on that. And yet, um, over the last few months, I've really opened my heart and I've really been like, guide me, talk to me. And I can't begin to tell you how many ways that's happening. This morning, one of KDB, one of my friends, hey Katie, thanks for the love on this channel. Um, yet her post had 110 likes. I gotta be 111. Like I see 111 all day long. That is God, Jesus, spirit, universe reminding me all is well, all is one. Don't get caught up in the illusion, right? I I went to go take a shower this morning. I had to record it. I was like, play, hey, Google, play uh, uh, play music. And all of a sudden it, it just starts like the song right in the middle was like, you are love, you are love, you are love. I'm like, what? Right? I mean, just left and right, I've I've in you know had this guidance. And so, like, I'm want to tell you, your guidance, your guru, your helper doesn't have to be in the form you expect. It might be like through the Holy Spirit of what I'm experiencing. It might be through this video. It might be through the books, okay? I am soaking up books at such a level that I, I, I mean, I cannot get enough. And I'm starting to get into like Kriya Yoga and, you know, right now, always A Course in Miracles, but I'm reading, you know, the autobiography of a yogi. I'm going to do the 
um, oh my gosh, I'm gonna butcher this, but the is it the Magna Vita is that how you pronounce it? I'm sorry, you know, it's learning, learning on this path, and willing to like expose my uh, innocence, right? Uh, with with not knowing right now. So here's the main theme I want you to know is that like you have the help, you have the guidance. If you put your heart into and like your number one focus and goal is the realization that you are God, okay, it will come to you in so many ways. You have to be open to listening. You have to be opening to uh, seeing it happen and possibly in some other forms that you are expecting. And, you know, that's our mind will get caught up in like it needs to be this way or this is the way it was supposed to be. And and I've just started being open and receiving. And here we go. So it's exciting because I'm starting to get like a semblance of like what's going to be transpiring. OK, and that's not coming from from ego. That's coming from like this excitement of like what I'm learning, what I want to share, getting to do this with you, getting to connect with you. I have some things coming through that I'm going to be excited to share in the future. And again, I'm inviting you to come along. Like I I know YouTube videos will say, hey, you know, comment or whatever, like share. Where are you on your journey? What resonates with you? Do you, you like do you not like this? Like I can receive what is perceived the good and bad. Like that's a, a huge download I had the other day. It's like Gavin, like it's all good. Like it's like the perfection is unfolding. Like even in the negative, what you think is negative is like so perfect for you. When things are bringing me in this bliss state, you know, it's so easy to go, oh, I'm on the right path, right? And then when things are not going how I, you know, want, expect, hope, you know, all these things that you can relate to, like what I've received lately is like, Gavin, that's like, that's the nudge. That's the guidance. Like that is just as perfect as anything else that's happening in your life to show you like that you might, you know, kind of get you back on the path you're going. Like that was over here. That doesn't feel right. That's not what you want. Boom. Slap you back into the direction of oneness that you're going. Right. And so it's all learning. It's all perfect. And if you're able to like open yourself up to that, it's all guidance. It's all God, even the stuff like in the past you label as bad or evil or, you know, that, um, you know, that's a whole nother video, but it's all part of the path, part of the journey, part of the oneness, part of the script for you, my friend. And I've been making these t-shirts for sounds. I mean, it's pretty funny, but you know, this is one of them. Everything's going to be okay. I know that's like one of my life themes is like wherever you feel like you are right now, like there's, you'll probably see from other videos. Sometimes my energy is not as good. I've cried. I've been down. I've been in victim. And today it's like, I'm in that like blissful, um, you know, hopeful, optimistic, seeing God state. And so you know, everything is going to be okay. And that's my reminder, like wherever you're at, like you're on the right path, you're in the right spot. Like, you know, and your part is to realize that, to awaken that, to remember that, to be open to that, to allow that, to allow. So that's it for today. Um, oh my gosh, I have a long list of, of downloads of things to share. And um, I'm just excited you're on this journey with me. I'm honored. I, I get you. I see you. I understand you. I love you. And thanks for being here, my friends. Much love. See you soon. Bye-bye.